guys, welcome back. So welcome to another account review. Um, I haven't done this in quite a while and I, there's actually two things I wanted to say before we start this video. One is you might have noticed that I have some new songs playing in the background throughout this video. Um, I decided to up, update my playlist a little bit. Um, just add a few songs to it because it, it was getting old. Some people have told me that I need to get some new music. Um, I added a, new, uh, a few new songs to my playlist and I'll keep adding them as I go because NCS has a lot of new songs. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. The other thing is um, it's not actually super cold but I'm just wearing this because I have a green shirt inside and it's like... I. Unless you guys want to see a levitating head, then uh, we're, we're just gonna have to stick with this. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so today we have a account review for um, League L... I can't even read this. L Is it L? Is it I? L-G-D-F-R-D? I can't read a name with no vowels. Um, Alright, we, we, can, we can just kind of guess what that is. But anyways, he's level level 46 and he wants me to help him with actually he doesn't really have any specific thing that he wants me to help him with just kind of go into his account and um, fix up a few things and give him a few pointers so uh, we're gonna take a look at his account box or his monster box and he seems to have quite a lot of nat fives he has a light Arthur from the contract as well um, and Yeah, and a lot, of, a lot of normal monsters. So the monsters that he has raised are this um, Wood Nightmare. He has an Evil 3 Water Purse with uh, three, 3 HP gems. Um, the Startanian, his Nike, Nike is also um, Evil 3 and has a variant leader skill, level 3 leader skill. So this, this is actually pretty good. Dark Rudolph, um, pretty good for, for Titans. Pretty decent as a Nuker as well. She's, she's actually pretty strong. Um, Dark Mihos, super OP. Water Garuda, also evil 3. Um, he's actually quite a strong nuker. He's got a 80% defense down, Elemental Edge. Um, Wood Incubus, a really good farmer. Morale boost 50% if you, if you crit. And then Hunter. And he's told me that he recently got his Wood Thor to, to a level 60 and evil 3 as well. So his Wood Thor is probably, I think mostly for Titans, um, he's just kind of preparing for it. Now, you might have noticed that he doesn't have a lot of monsters, but he has some very, very strong monsters. Um, that's something I noticed as well, like he has an evil, he has like two evil 3 nat 5s. And his like, um, aggressor, he's, he's got two like evil 3, like max out aggressors. So that, those are actually really, really strong. I, I, I do think that he probably doesn't need any, any help. Um, progressing through golems too much because basically just this single water purse can carry him through everything like you you'll notice that his nike probably doesn't have max gems uh like well not notice but like she doesn't have max gems and um I do believe he ha he does have some six stars of all shapes so i don't, I don't think b10 is going to be that much of a problem oh i can we can test it out we can test it out once we'll just go in with the uh, the water purse and the Nike, we'll see how well it does. It'll probably work out quite well because the it is Evil Three. So I see a lot of water monsters. So I guess he was farming B eight. I don't. I really don't think this is gonna be that much of a problem. Just basically, uh, I guess sappers would work better, but nukers could also work as well. Yeah, I guess we'll we'll just armor break and just nuke down the boss really hard. Uh, we'll use the Nike lead. No synergy though. Maybe I should use a water monster for that synergy. How good is this C star? Not very good. Alright, looks like we're just going to have to not have any syner synergy. But that's perfectly fine. Because all his other monsters are evil 3. And I think their gems are all at least plus 12. So it should it should work. As long as the Nike doesn't get killed in one on the first turn. We'll be fine. Uh, 
Yeah, Incubus hits pretty hard. Alright, definitely want to plus 15 those gems. I think he should be fine from here on. There shouldn't be too much too much too much trouble now. Garuda is actually quite good. His attack animation at Evil Three is really really fast, so it's actually possible to get get the attack or the defense down first, and then have another monster hit on the same turn. It's actually quite nice. Yeah, I don't think he really needs much for B10. Um, you can pretty much nuke through everything with nukers. Um, the Golem boss might have give him a little bit of trouble because he doesn't have any sap. But if your nukers are strong enough, you can basically nuke through it as well. Although I still would recommend you sap him. It's just it's just the more effective way to do it, and it's uh it's faster. It's just it's just faster than nuking him. Yeah, if, if you had some sappers, you could probably make your B10 time a lot faster. But I don't think farming it is going to be that much of, of an issue. So you will be able to farm it if you um, need any any slot gems. Yeah, he, he does no damage. And with Water Purse healing, like an Evil 3 life set Water Purse healing, like every single turn, it's, it's a joke. Alright, we finally got the defense down. Big damage. Yeah, it, it's not exactly really fast, but um, but he is able to farm it very, very stably, so that's not too much of an issue. Um, my recommendation would probably get to be to get some sappers, because if you get some sap sap monsters, you can basically take down the golem, um, like just in maybe. Like your runs will maybe be like at least thirty percent faster, um, possibly like fifty percent faster as well. So like two minutes or so, two minutes and forty seconds, almost three minutes. Um, yeah, if you had some sappers, you could probably cut it down to like under two minutes. If you were running two sappers instead of two attackers on the last team, you could probably cut it down really, really. Um, like just really really far okay so uh, with that knowledge I think I think the best way to do this is you could like if, if you really want to use your nat fives you could um, but there's not that many good nat five sappers there's only like purse Artemis um, Shiva's not even that good um, Nat 4s, I guess you could build them, but you could just also use a Water Miho as well, like you have one right here. She doesn't, she's not Master Race, but you know, you, you are able to farm all the all the Golem stages, so that's not too much of an issue. Um, you have a whole bunch of other Water Mihos, and also she's pretty easy to get, so that's not much of a problem. If you really, really want to speed your B, B10 farm time up, um, I would just recommend you build some Sappers, and if you really want to, you can build a Sea Star as well, like... She's not as good as the Miho, but she is an attacker. Like so, she actually has higher, um, higher attack, and you can. And she has crit lead. Yeah, crit lead's not bad because your aggressor can use crit lead as well. So that's actually not too bad. You can gen everyone with like crit rate double attack, with like, um, and then use the crit lead to push 100% crit, so you can have like more stable runs. That could also work as well. If you have like a water sea start built, she actually could um, work for like she she could be the dark or the the water miho replacement. Um, she's oh wait you have a water Artemis yeah she, this also works you can get her to evil two six stars max level. Um, she she should have higher attack than the water miho as well and her saps also superior it's eighty percent two saps um, on both skills so. I think Water Artemis, and then just like raising the Sea Star. Since you already have her anyways, you might as well just do it. And you can just 
basically run the three water monsters, um, and then your your Nike, and then you can even use the crit lead so the Nike can get the crit crit uh, bonus as well, because the attack bonus doesn't work on the Nike, and then this way you can push like 100% crit on everybody to make your runs like more stable. Um, this way, like you, they're always doing consistent damage, and which means you'll be able to like always kill the first wave a lot faster. Um, you won't get as high DPS, but it doesn't matter because you just want to cl clear the wave and stab the boss to death. So that's 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 pretty pretty straightforward. Um, so I think after after golems, you can probably move on to either PVP or titans. I think he he mostly wants to do titans because he told me that he's raising his fire cupid as well. Um, fire cupid's a very very strong titans monster. He's got attack down and attack up, which is Actually quite strong, like attack up makes your courageous strikers hit a lot harder. Attack down is a very very crucial debuff for titans. Um, you want to keep this up on him at all times basically, so the more attack attack down that you have the better. It's not a very very high proc rate, but um, you know as a healer with a, with a first skill with a strong debuff, um, it, it does help quite a lot. So basically just having him on any any of your titan teams does, does help quite a bit. Um, if you're planning to do titans does he have a lot of courageous strikers because basically raising those to like um even just to level 50 and then getting them gemmed up can really just greatly increase your your damage courageous strikers are just really really op um for they only do one job like they only do titans but they basically like they way outclass any other monster um in terms of damage when doing titans so literally like you can put in like an evil to um, you know just random five star creative striker and then it will actually hit harder there are a lot of your like gemmed up actual attackers like six star attackers um, at, at evil three on titans so he does have the indras the siegfrieds if you really want to do titans i would focus on i would definitely focus on these three monsters um, get them built up and then work on a few debuffers to, to kind of support them um, Wood Hana is also one of the, the strongest healers for Titans. You can basically, she has de defense down again, and then she al also has defense up. And it's a three turn buff, which is very, very, like, it's extremely useful. Um, especially if your monsters are six stars and they have, like, much better stats. Uh, this will actually increase your effective HP by quite a lot. So, yeah, having that definitely does help. Um, I think he has a few more creature strikers, maybe, maybe not. I think that's pretty much it. Thought he has some fire ones, but mostly water ones. Um, two Siegfrieds and one Water Indra. If you're not planning to build the Fire Siegfried, you can actually go ahead and like if you're if you're planning to focus a lot on Titans and you're not um, planning to build the Fire Siegfried, you can actually like keep them evil too, and then just raise them to six stars. Like raise your raise your water mons to six stars. I would actually focus on the Indra first because the Indra actually is I think much better than the Siegfried. Um, he's balance typed, and he also has the the attack down. And this is one of the strongest attack downs in the game as well. It's a eighty percent for three turns. Um, it's like he's a really strong debuff monster for Titans, and he's also a courageous striker. So he's actually um, one of the best like RGB monsters that you can use for Titans, and Pretty much anything else you can basically fill, um, depending on your, depending on on which element you want to focus on. If you're mo mostly using water, um, you can use some water debuffers. You have a lot of attack, attack down. Um, you also have some defense down. So this this thing has defense down. Water Shelly is a monster that you can stack for a lot of defense down. So if you want uh, a um, defense down monster on each one of your teams you can basically raise a whole bunch of water shellies a lot of people do this because the water shelly has a hundred percent defense down for two turns so basically you can have the defense down um, and then support it with a with a healer um, depending on the element of the of the uh, monster that you're fighting so say for example you're you're going in um, with a water team and you're mostly going to be fighting fire then you can actually use a fire healer as well because fire is actually element neutral against fire so all you have to do is basically build your fire monster a little bit tanky, and since you're using like a you know a healer um, fire cupid, you could probably just build them like full, full tank. A lot of people use like one slot recovery 
Um, but some people use um, HP HP defense as well on their healers. Um, some people don't really bother re with recovery gems; like they don't even they don't even keep them. You there there is a I think it's better. Like it's actually strictly better at the like in in um in the late game to actually use the recovery gem. But a lot of people don't don't save the recovery gems. I myself don't either, so I don't really have them. And it's actually perfectly fine. It's not that much of a difference. So you can actually go HP HP defense on on your fire cupid, and um, basically run run your your water like your water courageous strikers with other debuffers. Um, if you're missing any more healers, the water call team. I think yeah, I think he ha he has it down. Like he has he's he's got it planned out. I, I see all these monsters that he's planning to use for titans. He's got all the water courageous strikers. Um, he's got the Shelly raised, and then he's got this Cupid and the Thor as well. Um, Thor is mostly used for for wood. You can't really use him for fire, but if you want to use something to fight the uh, or or he's mostly used to yeah he's mostly used to fight water, but you can also um, basically you can focus on two elements. So you can if you're in a guild, you can wait for them to attack first, and then wait for the element that of the Titan that you want to fight to come up. That's the easiest way to to get into Titans. Basically, you don't want to make a team that can like that's like you don't want to make a team for every single Titans um, because you can rely on your on your guildies to basically hit the Titans until it gets to the one that you want to kill, and then you can kill him afterwards. Uh, so this is the Water Titan. You can actually see what he uses for Titans. So wood team, wood team against water titan. Um, he's got a leader skill. Siegfried lead is actually very strong. Wood Siegfried is actually quite strong for titans as well. He's got a, um, he's got a very very high defense down chance. Well, not very high. It's eighty percent, but it does last three turns. I think it's eighty, right? They buffed him. I, I remember he they recently buffed him. It, it's an eighty percent three turn defense down. He's also got the leader skill for titans. So I, I'm. Pretty sure he doesn't want to feed his Siegfrieds. He wants to keep every single one. Um, and then he's got a water Siegfried here. His third one's not raised yet. I think this team looks pretty solid. Uh, you probably want to replace this with another water Shelly. Because this is fire. And Dark Miho doesn't really do much. The two aggressors... These, these four here are basically just to fill the slots. Because they don't... Um, they don't... I think it's just his best monsters because he has he really has nothing else to use. Eventually, when you get other attackers like other um, water attackers or water or not not water but like this one, probably you want to use wood. I think he's saving his wood Thor for another team. Actually, no. This is. I'm pretty sure this is. Uh... Wait, I can't even remember what the water titan does. I haven't done titans in so long. What does the Water Titan do again? Alright, we'll, we'll find out very soon. I think his Thor is ready for this team. He, he recently raised it, so he he told me that he um, he recently raised this monster, but he hasn't... probably hasn't used him yet. So this might be his the first time that he's going to use his Thor. I'm going to put his Thor on the last team, um, the, the one with the most supports. And see if I can keep him alive to do a lot of damage because he is level 60, so he's going to be able to do quite a lot of damage to this Titan. Um, it's two defense down monsters. The Shelly, maybe he built this Shelly to kind of nuke to do a bit of damage as well. HP crit rate attack. Okay, the Shelly is going to hit pretty pretty damn hard, and it does extra damage to Water Astromon. So he's not using this as a debuffer. He's using this as a as an actual nuker. Uh, Shelly serves two purposes. You can use him as a as a debuffer. And he's one of the best because he has a hundred percent chance to debuff. Um, but he also works really really well as a nuker because he has extra damage to water monsters. So especially against water titans, he's very strong. And he's got a um, he's got a single target second skill. So this has a very very high scaling, um, which means he'll he'll do a shit ton of damage. So we're gonna actually put this on with a with a healer to support. Um, don't know. I think I think his second team is stronger. I might actually want to 
swap him around. How high is his crit rate for his Thor? It's not that high. He's not a defense gem, so I guess the crit lead is still better on this team. And this is a level 60 as well, so. Let's see if his Hana. I'm gonna compare his Hana and his Kotin gems. If it's better, I'm gonna switch these two around because his Hana, his second team is is just stronger. But I don't remember what the the water golem or what the water titan does. I I haven't I haven't done titans in so long that I forgot. I think it's some sort of seal or some shit. Some very annoying shit. It's decent gems. This Ka team might have better gems. And it's Hana. It's Hana's only evil one as well. Recovery. Okay, this, his Ka team is better. Um, so I took out his Garuda. I'm going to replace one of these with his Garuda. And then switch him over to the first team. So since his Miho is, is maxed out, I'm going to... I'm assuming his, his Dark Rat is his other best monster. Um, probably would use Incubus. Incubus as a, as a nuclear, but... I guess it's just a filler. Um, don't think this is going to be that effective to put him here. I'm going to just basically buff his second team a lot more, but I think his first team also needs another defense down. Uh, yeah, I think his second team's way stronger. I'm going to, I'm going to stack his second team. All right. Alright, this probably isn't the best way to do it, but it's good enough. It's good enough. Yep, I think that's all he has. Um, water person doesn't really do that much for Titans. It doesn't heal that much. He's got a water cure for the attack buff as well. These two should hit pretty hard. Attack buff... Uh, you guys might not know this, but attack lead doesn't work on aggressors, but attack buff actually works on aggressors. That's actually pretty cool. I think this thing's gonna do way more damage. I'm gonna I'm gonna swap these two around. All right. We're gonna stack this team. We're gonna stack the second team. I don't know if he's stronger during the first stage or the second stage, but usually most titans are weaker during this set. We're well, not weaker, but they they have less annoying shit on the second stage. Um, I I I can't remember. I think he seals. I think that's what he does. All right. Anyways, we're gonna go in and we're gonna we're gonna fuck him up. All right. Okay, we'll, we'll use standard res mode. Oop, nice, we landed the, the defense buff. Nice, we got a three turn attack down. Ah uh, yeah, he seals. Motherfucker. So annoying. I think his Fire Nightmare is actually quite tanky, so we're just using her to debuff. Um, it would be nice if he had a second Water Shelly, and this one built tanky, and then just replace that Nightmare with the, the Shelly. And probably replace the Nike with another Shelly, just go like two, two attack, two, uh, two defense down. Make things a lot more reliable. Oh shit, she's dead. But she did manage to land that defense down for one turn before she died. That's pretty good. I don't know if he, I fucked up his other Titan teams because I used all his best monsters on this Titan. But I think Water Titan's where he does the most damage. He's, he's most well built for it. So I guess we throw everything into this and then he can... Do whatever other titan afterwards another important thing is um if you're building a titan's team you want to make them all as tanky um like all equally as tanky so they always all survive um to to about the same time this way it's just more efficient because you you want to have like you're using you're usually using buffs and debuffs that synergize really well together 
There's there's no point having one monster tank here than the other, because everything else is going to be dead, and that one single monster is just going to die the next turn anyways. Like like this, but it's it's all right. It's just it was just one turn. You don't want to have like the them like staying alive for like three turns after. Well, actually, it's not that it's not bad, but it's just there's no point. All right, this team should do a lot more damage than the first team. Ooh, nice. We got the blind down on. Okay, we resist the debuffs. The stuff, the stuff. Nice, we got a three turn defense down from Siegfried. Let's see if I can. Uh... Okay, we still have the attack down and the blind. Okay, this, this shouldn't hurt too much. Okay, that, that did a lot of damage to the Kira. Ooh, come on, come on, land the attack down, huh? Land the attack. Wait, wait. Oh my god, that Rudolph failed us. Oh, they, they would have lived if they attacked down land. It's unfortunate. Alright, he's going to do an AoE nuke. I hope the Incubus and the Thor live. That's all I really need. Okay, we're good, we're good. Do one more, one more round of nuke. Thor lost his defense buff though. I don't think he's gonna live this. And he has a full bar, so he can't use his courageous strike. But it's fine. He already got most of his damage out. We'll just do one more nuke with the armor, armor break. And uh, this is GG. All right. So that was about yeah, that's like two million damage, two point four million. Not, not too bad. To 16 16% of the Water Titan's HP. Um, what level is this Water Titan? 57. So that, that was actually pretty good. That was that was quite decent. We chunked him. Like th this was us. I think. Yeah, this was us. That was pretty good. They got like level 60s as well, and this guy's only level 40 something. He's doing qu he's doing quite good, you know. Like compared to like other level 60s, he's got a pretty well built team. Just needs to probably get like two more. If he gets like two more water shellies, actually three more, because I would actually put another one on the second team just as debuff, um, not as a nuker, and that would actually still do a lot lot more damage. Actually, I I probably would just not make this one a nuker. Because he has another Courageous Striker that he's not using. He's got this one. It's triple square too. So once he raises this one, he can probably build this as a tankier mon. And then um, put in another, like, two more Water Shellies. And then it's just, it's GG easy. But yeah, I think he's in a pretty good position. Um, if you're able to farm B10, I would probably, before you start building everything for Titans, I would probably raise your Sappers first. These two to six stars get their gems maxed out. Just faster runs, more gems, more gold. Um, there's, it's it's worth it. It's a very very good investment. And then afterwards, if you want to focus on titans, because after you, you farm B10, you can start moving on to titans, or you can move on to PVP, the, depending on what you decide to do. Um, but if you, from the looks of it, you mostly want to focus on on doing titans. Um, then, then you can start building your titans teams. And I would probably start with. I'll probably start with, like, if I can get some gleams to get this guy evil 2, um, and fix up his third gems a lot more. Like, basically, what you want to do is you want to farm B10 a lot, get a lot of gold, and then most of your key monsters, like the, the really strong aggressors, um, you can start getting their gems to plus 15, so they can they can live a lot, like, a li live a lot longer. And if your other monsters aren't as tanky, you can gem them with, like, double attack first, so they're, like, equally as tanky, but they would ha have so much more attack. That they do a lot more damage to the titans 
you can start with that and then afterwards when you get your healers and everything up to six stars and stuff um you switch them over to like hp defense attack or something like that or for for this um for thor i think he needs crit so wait does he need crit yeah he needs crit so he he but for him it's like crit um crit uh attack hp something like that um or you could just go HP defense attack with a lot, lot of crit sub stats and just push that up really high. That also works. Um, but he's one of the harder monsters to gem. The the Indras and the uh, the Siegfrieds are super easy. And at that point, you can get more Shellies um, to replace your like you don't want to use this in a Water Titan. And then you can focus mostly on like use your key team on Water Titans. And then, I guess, just throw everything else into anything else until you can build a second Titans team. Um, maybe Fire fire might be your, your next option, because Fire is also pretty easy to build. You do have a lot of water nukers that you can throw in as well. Um, and then, because you're going to be building a few of these water monsters as six stars, they're going to have a lot better stats. So you can temporarily use them as your secondary Titans team for, for Fire as well. Um, when you're doing that and then fire is these are element neutral against fire so you can actually use them in your tight your, your fire titans team at the same time and then you can use everything that's wood um you can use a mix of wood and water for 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 a uh, water titan and then you can use a mix of water and fire for uh, for fire titan um but i think that's pretty much it i think i think he's in a pretty good position um i didn't really need to upgrade any gems right now there's not that much to fix up um it's pretty general like i don't does they don't need like really really specific gems but you know like for example the shelly you can build them as an attacker or you can build them as as tanky for debuffs um i think you have a lot of aggressors so you can probably switch this over like once you have your your um siegfried raised you can replace that slot that that the shelly's taking with him and then you can move the shelly onto your other team and have him be the debuffer, and then raise another Shelly to replace the, the Fire Nightmare as well. Um, and then just have like two defense down, and like, at least, I would say like two, if you can, can two attack downs on on the same, um, on the same, same row, so they can always have that debuff on the boss. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully this helped you guys out. I think this was a pretty fun review because we actually got to talk about Titans. I don't do that a lot. I don't even do that a lot on my own account. I don't do a lot of Titans. Um, but I do I do know a little bit about it. I did um, do some clan battles and stuff. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.